If you've ever tapped your phone to pay at a store or scanned a weird-looking square at a restaurant menu, then congratulations, you've used either NFC or a QR code. But have you ever wondered what the actual difference is between the two? At first glance, they both seem to do the same thing. Connect the physical world with the digital world. But there are some key distinctions between these two technologies that are important to understand, especially if you're a business owner, tech enthusiast, or just someone curious about how our devices interact with the world around us. So in this video, we're breaking down what QR codes and NFC are, how they work, their pros and cons, and when you should use one over the other. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with QR codes. QR stands for Quick Response, and these little black and white squares have been around since the 1990s. Originally developed in Japan by Denso Wave to track car parts and manufacturing, QR codes have evolved into a versatile tool for encoding information. At their core, QR codes are two-dimensional barcodes that store data in a matrix of squares. When you point your smartphone camera at one, the code is scanned and translated into readable data, usually a URL, text, contact information, or a command like opening an app. One of the reasons QR codes became so popular, especially during the pandemic, is because they're easy to generate, don't require any special hardware to read, and can be printed on almost anything, paper, posters, packaging, even your business card. All you need is a camera and a QR code reader, which is now built into most smartphones. Now, on the flip side, we have NFC, which stands for Near Field Communication. NFC is a wireless communication technology that allows two devices to exchange information when they're very close, usually within four centimeters or less. If you've ever used Apple Pay, Google Pay, or tapped your phone to unlock a smart door lock or connect to a Bluetooth speaker, you've used NFC. Unlike QR codes, which are visible and need to be scanned, NFC works almost invisibly. The technology is built on top of older RFID systems, which you'll find in things like contactless credit cards and security badges. With NFC, all the magic happens with just a tap. There's no need to open your camera or align anything. One device has the tag, passive, and the other, usually your phone, active, reads and interacts with it. From a user experience perspective, both technologies are relatively simple to use, but they work in slightly different ways. With QR codes, the user typically opens their phone's camera or a specific scanning app and points it at the code. This requires a line of sight, proper lighting, and decent alignment. It's a bit more manual, but very flexible. NFC, on the other hand, is seamless just tap your phone against a tag and boom, something happens. There's no need to focus, aim, or wait for a scan. That said, the physical interaction of tapping may not always be as intuitive for some users, especially if the tag isn't clearly marked or if your phone doesn't have NFC enabled. Plus, older or budget smartphones may not support NFC at all, whereas virtually every smartphone today can scan a QR code. On a technical level, the two technologies couldn't be more different. QR codes are visual and static. They hold data that doesn't change unless you reprint the code. They can be printed or displayed on screens and don't require power to function. NFC tags, on the other hand, can be either passive or active. Passive tags don't need a power source and draw energy from the reader device. Active NFC, like what you find in smartphones, allows for two-way communication, making it far more versatile in terms of interactivity. NFC can also be more secure. You can encrypt data, require authentication, 
and even program the tag to perform specific actions depending on the time, location, or user. QR codes don't have that level of sophistication and they're easier to tamper with. Think of someone pasting a malicious QR code over a legitimate one. Security is one of the key factors where NFC has a clear edge. Because NFC operates over such a short distance and can be encrypted, it's harder to intercept or spoof. That's why it's trusted for sensitive applications like payments and access control. QR codes, by comparison, are more prone to phishing attacks. For instance, a bad actor could replace a legitimate QR code on a poster or sign with a malicious one that leads users to a phishing site. Since the user can't see the URL before scanning or might not pay attention, they could easily fall into a trap. That's not to say QR codes are unsafe, but they require users to be a bit more vigilant, especially in public spaces. So when should you use QR codes? And when does NFC make more sense? QR codes shine in low-cost, high-distribution environments. They're great for marketing materials, product packaging, restaurant menus, and situations where you want users to take quick actions like visiting a website, following a social account, or downloading an app. Since you can print them anywhere and they don't need any power or maintenance, they're super scalable. NFC, on the other hand, is ideal for more interactive and secure experiences. It's great for mobile payments, smart posters, event check-ins, smart business cards, and any situation where you want a frictionless tap-and-go interaction. It's more professional and slick, but it does require a bit more investment up front. NFC tags cost more than printing a QR code, and you need devices that can read them. So, there you have it. QR codes versus NFC explained. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how each works and when to use them. Whether you're designing a digital campaign, setting up mobile payments, or just curious about the tech in your pocket, knowing the difference can help you make smarter decisions. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech breakdowns like this. Drop a comment below if you've used NFC or QR codes in a cool or unexpected way. We'd love to hear your stories. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.